What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. All right, today we're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna hydro dip and try and color color paint um, some of the engine parts under the Hellcat today. So I, I think this will be like a pretty cool mod. So we're gonna take these um, the valve covers, the fuse box cover. This cover goes right uh, underneath the fuse box, and uh, basically the uh, strut tower cover. Um, we're gonna take those today, we're gonna sand them down, uh, put a base coat on them, hydro dip them, and then we're gonna try and do a, a candy red on it, all right? So this is all the stuff that we're gonna be using today from drop cloth, tack rag, uh, to sand these down, really good. Uh, degreaser, need a scuff pad. Um, when we actually go to prime it, because this has a, a texture, we're going to use a filler primer and then we're going to sand this down to make it smooth. Then we're going to put our base coat, which is we're going to use a metallic silver through one hit wonder uh, hydrographic paint. Um, it's my first time trying them out, they got really good reviews, All right? So we got two cans of that. I also have the Candy Apple Red Candy, the inner coat, right? So it's almost like a clear coat. It's clear, but it has a tint of red. So it's like a tint of uh, candy red. So the more you spray it, the darker it gets, the less you spray, the lighter it is. So we'll go through that. And then we have our activator, all right? Our activator for our film. And this is the film we're gonna be using today. I don't wanna pull it out because I don't want it to get dust or you know wet or anything like that yet. So it's kinda of humid today. But this is the film that we're gonna be going with. All right. So we're going my step by step today. Um, this is all you need. I bought a tub, stuff like that. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so I wanted to get in the first step, right? So I got some, uh, I like to use seven mil gloves. All right, as long as you're using some type of gloves that's like powder free, you'll be all right. Um, also, you wanna get some shop towels um, for this step too, because uh, you basically wanna clean off all the parts. You wanna degrease them and clean them first. So I know for me, I ain't gonna lie, I daily drive my car, so I know it's dirty under there, so I know all these parts are dirty. So what I'm using today is the actual uh, purple powder cleaner, right? So I'm just gonna literally give them a good spray down. Cause I know mine are dirty. And uh, I'm just using some paper that I know like, when I'm done with this, I'll just throw it away. Just wanna let this soak. Try to clear this up, man. Get all the good surface. I'm gonna try and clean it up as much as possible. So in this part, right, we're gonna, since there's some type of texture on all the pieces, right, I'ma sand it down with the 80 grit, and then I'ma come behind it, and I'ma hit it with a scuff pad. All right, so that way, maybe it's our, our primer and stuff. Um, you, you're supposed to scuff it up before you do the primer coats. So I'm gonna do this one first, right, to kind of take some of the texture down and smooth them out. Then I'm gonna come behind it and scuff it up to give it that rough texture so the primer can, can uh, stick to it.
All right, so after I sanded it down pretty good, right, I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna scuff it up some more. I just wanted to uh, smooth it up so I could take some of the texture off, all right. So again, same thing. Just wanna saturate it real good. All right, so after you sanded it down, right, um, you scuffed it up. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to clean it up, all right, last little bit, try and get everything off, uh, down or something like that. All right, so at this point, right, we've already sanded it down, we cleaned it, we've already scuffed it up, we degreased it, right? So at this point, um, I haven't touched it with my fingers, so I changed out new gloves. Um, I'm gonna use Denature Alcohol with some more, uh, basically, lint-free shop towels. So that way, we can make sure that we got all the fingerprint grease, all the you know everything off as possible that so when we put the adhesion promoter and we can put the primer on there everything sticks perfectly fine so this is the next step that we're going to do All right, so we just primed it, right, um, with the fill-up primer because uh, it had a texture. So I wanted to make sure that I did the fill-up primer and got everything as smooth as possible. Um, it actually looks really, really good. It does look really, really good. Oh, man, a bug got in that one. Luckily we got a tack rag, right? So if any type of debris or anything gets into um, while you're doing it, so I got what's called a tack rag. It's great for moving dirt, dust, other debris, surfaces, prior to paint, priming and painting would not deteriorate in storage or dry out. So I'm gonna get that bug out, man, with this real quick. And uh, we're gonna keep going. So the next step, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the one hit wonder metallic silver because of this will be like the base coat that goes underneath the dip 
So it's going to be like a real bright uh, metallic silver. It's going to make that, that vinyl pop even more. Well, that hydro dip pop even more. All right, so this will be the first coat with the metallic silver. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm basically putting tape on there to prep it before it goes in the water. So you see how like it's already starting to roll up. So what happens is when you put the graphic in the water, it's going to naturally want to roll up and curl up on itself. So to kind of help with that, what you do is you put tape on there, right? And then you cut, you put in stress relief cuts. So that way it'll only roll up as far as the cut, where the cut is, right? And then you just cut off the excess because you have to, you have to want to let the film be able to shrink and, and expand back to the original size. So I don't even think I want to Just cut it like this. And that's why also I bought a little extra just in case if I mess it up, then it is what it is. Hey, so we had to cut the video a little short on the process of actually showing you guys what we did in the process. So I'm gonna just talk you through it, right? Um, from what we left off, right? So actually we're, we're done with the product. I think for the cost and first time doing it myself, that it definitely came out. Um, I like it. It came out good for what the cost was, what the price was, what the skill level was. First time doing it, um, Right, so when I talk to some professionals, even with the paint, right, color, um, there's no perfect match paint that anybody has to match it. Um, this is a candy red with a clear coat. So where we left off was we were, uh, we had just sprayed it with the silver metallic base color and we were going to hydro dip the graphics. So as you can see, I really like these graphics, man. How they came out i don't know if that's really like picking up on camera but i really like how this came out man that thing absolutely shines in the light right so after you hydro dip it right you wash them off for three to five minutes and uh water that's slightly cool that's slightly cooler than the water you dipped it um which I dipped mine at 90 degrees. I just uh, ran water in, the, in my water hose and I boiled some water, poured it in there till it got to 90 degrees. Um, after you dip it, make sure you got the slime off, let it dry. And then we actually sprayed a candy red inner coat, which is basically clear coat, but it's, it's a red tint. 
so it's this red tint that goes on there um after you let it dry right so i think we did four or five coats i think we did five coats of the red and it comes out like this after you let this dry for 45 minutes with the red when you come back behind you're going to need two cans of 2k clear and then you do four to five clear coats and then you'll get your whole shiny that whole shiny process where it's all clear coat and then i let it dry for almost in the well in the can it says let it dry for 48 hours but i let mine dry for like four or five days um this will be the first time i put it on the car so this is like like i said man this is the end product man y'all let me know what y'all think like i said man i love it like as it comes together it's just gonna come together all good man so i hope that's picking up on camera like i said it's absolutely stunning man